to Solo, so he is, in theory, the one man who would know. Well, what a loss to this industry that would be. Yeah, Solo is a mass power in the wake of WrestleMania. Solo's also grown in confidence, which makes him an extremely dangerous threat to Cody Rhodes or whomever Zako is competing against. KO did not qualify for Money in the Bank. Randy Orton did not qualify for Money in the Bank. That is thanks in large part to the orders of Solo Sokoa. Beating the WWE Champion Cody Rhodes now would be an epic night for the bloodline belonging to Solo Sokoa. Rhodes, true to his word, left Kevin Owens and Randy Orton in the back, as did Solo. No Tama Tonga, no Tonga Loa tonight to this point. Rhodes sidesteps out of the way. Here comes Cody with a full head of steam. Takes out Solo into the barricade. Oh, has zero interest in a champion's schedule. Zero interest in Ooh. nights off. Give me the biggest, give me the baddest. I represent this industry. Rhodes able to reverse the power of Solo. As damaging as hitting those steps truly is, nobody can quite absorb that kind of punishment like Solo Sokoa. Once upon a time, the street oh. champ. That was the point of those steel steps into the kidney of Solo Sokoa. Still managing to shake it off. I'm not entirely sure Cody Rhodes isn't still of the same mentality that he was at Clash at the Castle in a vicious, I quit match with the phenomenal AJ Styles. That's the type of mode Cody's gonna need to exist in tonight if he wants any chance of toppling Solo. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it was too good to last. Let's face it, these Tongans are completely unhinged. To the surprise of absolutely no one, the right-hand man, Tama Tonga, the infamous Tonga Loa, doing the bidding of the new head of the table. I mean, it was a settle. Here comes Orton, here comes Owens on one good leg, doing their best to aid the American Nightmare. Well, they aided the American Nightmare after his magic clash at the castle, and they're doing it again tonight, thankfully. The numbers game has been neutralized yet again. Orton and Owens, despite competing earlier, despite being banged up, Standing by the side of the American Nightmare, RKO, down goes Tama Tonga. And if you're Cody Rhodes, you could not have two better aces up your sleeve to have your back than KO and Randy. And I think reality is beginning to set in for the new head of the table. Solo's pleading. I've never seen Solo Sokoa beg and plead for his safety before. Who is it? The rumors are true! Oh. You know who that is! Oh my god! That's Jacob Batu! He's here! Oh my god! Oh my god! Solo, what the hell have you done? Oh my god! Jacob Batu! The Samoan drop Owens! Onto the stairs! We thought Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa were dangerous way! <laughs> This guy needs to be locked up. This is the family member the same ones want nothing to do with. Oh my, he just put Orton in a barricade. Yeah. This SOB ain't fit for public consumption. Watch it. I'm telling you, Wade. You don't have to tell me twice, Corey. Yeah. WWE Champion continuing to fight. Well, he has to. He's in a fight for his life now. And it's Jacob Fatu. Spine first onto the ring apron. This guy is as lawless as can be. Solo, what have you done? 
What sort of hell has been unleashed on Friday Night SmackDown by Solo and the Bloodline? Well, this completely redefines risk and reward. The risk with Jacob Fatu is sky high. But what we're seeing now is pure reward for the Bloodline. Oh, my God. Jacob Fatu is going to destroy the WWE Champion on his first night. No. No. Oh, my God. There's a werewolf on the loose.